<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Catch Your Breath Beauty. My name is Heather and this is my husband, DJ. Hello. With a D. DJ. Not BJ, not CJ, not RJ. DJ. D. <laughs> So anyways, happy Monday everyone and welcome to Mask Monday. And this week, actually over the next two weeks, I'm going to use him as my guinea pig. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to know if there's really any difference between a mask that is marketed towards men versus a mask that is marketed towards generally women. There's an actual female image on the back of this one, so we went with this. They're definitely similar. They're both charcoal sheet masks. So we are going to go ahead. I'm gonna let him pick which one he wants. Uh, we're gonna do the, the man one today. <laughs> He's gonna man it out. Okay, and this guy looks like super fucking happy. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna be that happy. Yeah. Yeah, like that looks real, that guy looks really happy. He looks like Finn from Frozen. With the big smile and the weird cheesy look. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right, you're right. All right, so we're gonna go, it's one of the yes to line. It's natural man. <laughs> Are you a natural man? <laughs> Last time I checked. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's just weird. You can verify that. <laughs> it's a charcoal detox paper mask. Yes to being the masked man with superhero skin. Awesome. Formulated with charcoal and witch hazel to deep clean and prevent help prevent ingrown hairs and razor burn. 96% natural ingredients, so we will take that for what it is. Next week, I'm going to go ahead and put more of a focus on the actual ingredients in the two masks and break it down that way to see if they're chemically similar. Um, this right now is just going to be this week and next week really seeing if there's any difference in his skin between one or the other. So the fun thing is, is I'm actually gonna have him put this on for you guys as to Epic. demonstrate, <laughs> demonstrate for all the men's out there who might not know what they're doing. And we're just gonna go ahead and guide you right through it and give you a demo and you can sheet mask and treat yourself, just do it. Your skin is forever, so just take care of it and do it. So let's see. As always, you gently unfold the mask. This one is a 10 minute, so we are going to put a timer on that because that's a shorter amount of time, so it might be more intense. Sorry, the witch hazel. Yeah. It's gonna feel great on my sunburn. <laughs> well, you you got to pick which one, hey, wow. so you're going with it. So I, I'm just going to let you oh, kind of dig yeah. in on your own and, you know, feel free to uh, show everybody out there what you're looking at. <laughs> it's a piece of black something in there. It's kind of sudsy, foamy. Okay. Okay, so take it out. So it's going to be like drippy and kind of like soggy. So you unfold it. I'm looking for it. Oh, fun. Missed a fold. <laughs> Hang on here. Got it. Got it. I think. Not sure. Okay. Usually pull from the center and then you can see the weird scary. Upside down? Yeah, you're upside down. There we go. Okay. This actually feels, this is just my opinion right now, just touching it. It seems to be a lot thicker, uh, the sheet mask itself. Oh, we're it, still sideways here. So. Here we, hey, there we go. Okay, which way am I spinning this? You can put it on either way. I'm thinking that way because the other side's already folded, right? Can you grab that piece for me so it can go through one of the eye holes there? That has to do with, there you go. Okay. Yeah, 
this is interesting. So I don't un quite understand why there are flaps for the eyes when it's not supposed to come into contact with your eyes. So that's a little bit... What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> so that's a little bit disturbing because Just... they're... Look, guys, they're like these little flaps. They're like wings. <laughs> But like, Why does it come with that if you're not supposed to do it? I know if it, you're not supposed to have it touch your eyes. I'm really wondering why it would have flaps, <laughs> as if it's gonna fly away. All right, hmm. pull it kind of taut across, okay. and then you can just press. And this really doesn't have a lot of like of a jelly consistency. There's you really can't feel a lot. Like I think the material is too thick where yours is like more of a transparent kind of Yeah, like sheet. this is I think almost the material's too heavy. Yeah, this is almost like it's a cloth. Yeah. That is a trip. So this looks more like actual mm -hmm. like a cloth material rather than you know something that you would normally see this is actually very bizarre I feel like i'm ready to go rob a liquor store <laughs> it doesn't even seem to be really sticking no, to his skin all the way like that's what's tripping me out right now is it keeps it's, lifting it keeps lifting and it's not even really wet enough to oh, stick it's wet it's, it's like too thick too heavy yeah, it keeps coming. No stick, like hardly at all. Maybe so you're like gonna have to look. All right, so all right. it seems like this yes to natural man, uh, you're gonna kinda do the lean back yep. for this, for the 10 minutes. So you're not gonna be going away anywhere, you're not gonna be doing anything. You're just gonna be chilling with the lean back and hopefully it'll dry down a little bit, settle into place, and he can relax. So yeah, I think this is as good as it's gonna get. So he's gonna do the lean back and we will be back in about eight-ish minutes. And while his mask is processing, uh, doing its thing, I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to use a Main Fit Beauty mask. It is the Mugwort and Astringent and Pore Care. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this one and I'm gonna mask along with him. And we are back and we both look fabulous. It's been 10 minutes. Um, he's ready to take his off. <clears throat> I'm just going to say as somebody who is super familiar with sheet masks, his is more of a cloth-like material almost. Um, it's actually pretty strange and it wasn't really, there wasn't enough product on the sheet mask itself to actually like suction it and bring it into his face. So it's never really fully been adhered to his skin to hold everything in place and so everything has been moving around yeah i've been constantly trying to push and get it to stick and if i'm not leaning back it feels like it's going to just fall off at any moment the material's super heavy and with the sideburns and everything it, it just doesn't want to stick really at all all right, so go ahead and you can take yours off. And I'm a little bit behind him, so I'm just gonna hang out and look creepy with this leg. Yeah, see? It's almost like a sheet, actually, like a bed Like a sheet. jersey material. Yeah, like a lightweight sweater, pair of sweatpants. Super thick, so. I don't know if that, I mean, thicker is always good, but in this case, it might not be because, I mean, it does, this just make it more manly because it's thicker and thicker it's black. And it, like, it just looks more yeah, aggressive, it's... I guess. Like, that would be my only guess is that they were trying to make it appear, you know, not, I mean, I guess more aggressive or just more masculine. Um, I I don't know what their reasoning would be to use a material like this for a sheet mask, but this is bizarre. Yeah, it's an actual sheet. 
Nats. Uh, yeah, really, yeah. really. Because the comparison between these two, I'm just going to go ahead and take this one off. And then we can do a little side by side. Yeah. Oh, versus. here I am. There is a lot of essence in my mask. Yeah, no, I'm like sticky and tacky. So when you took it off, it wasn't feeling wet at all. It was just tacky. Yeah, it feels tacky. My skin feels tighter, kind of. I mean, I look shiny, you know, on top of the sunburn. But yeah, it just, there's like nothing to rub in like what you do. Yeah, because I'm rubbing in the rest of everything and then I'm going to go obviously in the bathroom and just rinse it off because I don't like to necessarily keep sheet mask essence on my face uh, for, you know, overnight long periods of time. So I do do a light rinse off, <clears throat> um, but definitely you can see like, this is very, very fragile. You can no, just like, and he's pulling on that. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. See, the, it's just the comparison is night and day. Yeah, like that's transparent, like a, a thin material. This is a thick, you could almost wipe your dash down in your car with. So, yeah, definitely a difference in between the two. Absolutely huge, yeah. huge difference. Now, as far as performance, we clearly won't know until next Monday if it did anything. Anything, yeah. Because I I to me, shiny. you just look shiny. Yeah. And if it's sticky, you're gonna wash it off. Yeah, <laughs> my, I'm like tacky, like I've been playing with fabric glue or something with the kiddo. It's, yeah, it's definitely doesn't feel like. You wanna keep it on your face? No, no, I'm just gonna stick to the pillow. Awesome. So, okay, so I rinse it off. Rinse this one off. So uh, the new Yes to Natural Man Charcoal Mask. Um, what would you give that? What would you give this out I of mean, a ten? Like as far as the experience. For my first go on one of these, I mean, like I mean, I, I do feel kind of crisp and clean, but the application and weight of it was super heavy so it was six seven something like that it wasn't as comfortable as you expected no i mean i've seen you walk around with them and whatnot and that that felt like a chore where i had to stay looking up at the fan or the ceiling to kind of keep it on there and it just it, it wasn't just put it on and let it go for 10 minutes it was constant maintenance pushing making sure it's, you know, not lifting and yeah, so. So if you had, you know, if you didn't have me around, <laughs> would this mask encourage you to go out and buy another one? No. I mean, without knowing, like, having more experience with it, just first impressions, no. Would okay, you? so it seems like as far as Ease of application, that is definitely going to be an issue, especially if um, they are trying to break into a, you know, newer market mm -hmm. and, you know, specifically make a sheet mask for men. Um, that it, it, if it's not easy to use, the odds of a man repurchasing that item are probably pretty slim. Yeah, I mean, it smells good, you know, but the... I'm very OCD and I can't stand tacky. No matter what it is, food, oil. I can tell whatever. he wants to go wash his can't hands. Can't stand it. He wants so, to wash his hands like right now. Yeah. So, <laughs> I can absolutely tell. <laughs> hopefully, I mean, you know, maybe I'll feel fresh in the morning when I wake up, you know, give it. But yeah. there's no immediate, oh my gosh, I, I, this is amazing feeling, you know. All and right, so. so the whole experience was like womp womp. Kind of, yeah. Aww. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, um, hopefully this will be the redemption. Yeah, so. the I'm real. This is yeah. their, uh, let's see, their real charcoal sheet mask, Tony Moly. So these are very, very popular. You know, everybody has done reviews and things on this guy. So we're going to see. I have a pretty 
good idea of what he's gonna think about this one. So we'll just wait until next week and see what we've got. Yeah, on a side note though, the witch hazel and the yes mask didn't burn. Oh. Like, I was worried with being sh fresh shaved and whatnot and sunburnt, it, you were gonna get that burn sting. Yeah. Like super clean thing. Yeah. yeah. No, it didn't have that, so. Okay, that's, a plus. that's that's definitely good to know. So it is actually okay to apply to mm -hmm. freshly shaven skin. So that's that's of note. And I'll so, do that with the the Tony Molly one too. Yeah, so we will keep it all the same, same everything. Replicate yeah. the same environment. <laughs> Go ahead and do our maybe proper experiment. Minus the sunburn, maybe. Yeah, you know, yeah, so, that'll help. Yeah. That'll help. So thank you, babe. No I, problem. I appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, so thank you everyone uh, for coming along with us. New video, new journey. Um, I've been promising you guys something for all the men out there, mm -hmm. for everyone who has been a little bit hesitant to dip their feet into skincare. Like I say in every video, you wear it for the rest of your life. So why not take care of it? Yeah. Absolutely. So thank you for joining us on Mask Monday. We will see you next week with the second mask Number and two. we will see if it is worth it to buy something specifically marketed towards men. Until next time, guys. Love, light, and highlight. See you later. Well, like, remember, I can edit things out. So. Oh, shit has bullshit. Okay, get it out. Until next time. Ah. <laughs> That was great. That was awesome. <laughs>